Welcome back to the show. When you think of journalism, you think of Lee Sales. She's interviewed almost everyone, from Hillary Clinton, the Dalai Lama, to Paul McCartney and Elton John. And despite stepping down as host of the ABC 7.30, Lee isn't slowing down her latest project, giving Aussies a peek behind the curtain of the journalism industry. And we're so pleased to say Lee Sales joins us now on the couch. How are you, Lee? I'm great. Thank you so much so for having me in. And thank you for being in my book, too. <laughs> Carl was one of the people I interviewed. Yeah, I don't know how I got to do it. <laughs> because you're very good at what oh, you do. That's very Come sweet. on, Lee. I, I love the, the whole reasoning behind it, and it's such an interesting book if you're in the, the mm. game, but also for those who want to find out what it's like inside. Yeah. Um, that. Yeah, and I don't know if you guys get this, but certainly viewers would all the time be interested in the behind the scenes of sure. what actually goes on and what people are really like. Um, and so partly I wanted to do it for that reason, but also, as you say, a tool for journalism students or young people coming through. But also just, I think, what connects us to each other mm. as humans is our ability to tell stories mm. and to listen to other people's stories. And all of the tools that we use in our professional lives as professional storytellers, I think regular people can use too, really. You've got some heavy hitters in this too, yeah. apart from me. Yeah, and then Carl. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I Heap of heavy hitters. Yeah. And then Carl Stephan <laughs> Ivey. <laughs> um, no, I did, I did, and it was so lovely. Everyone I asked um, agreed to do it. So, like, Laurie Oakes, you know, such a legend, and Tracy Grimshaw, mm. and Chris Reason from Channel 7, who's an incredible news reporter. Mm. Like, all these amazing um, people who are great at different aspects of the craft, whether it be like what you guys do, where you've got to be mm. on live for three hours and traverse everything from a series interview with the PM through to you know some colour piece right through to investigative journos and mm. camera operators it's all a diverse array of skills and, and when I was reading the chapter with you Carl what was interesting to me is that you can make mistakes along the way right I mean we know he's oh, made yeah. many <laughs> <laughs> yeah but the, the reality of what it's actually like as you're learning your trade as well well and as you point out too I think in yours Carl and this is my experience too live television and live things you can only really learn by doing it because mm. you can't replicate the yeah. adrenaline and the fear even just practicing and and my mum actually read your chapter and she was saying oh I can't believe you know that he you know would get so nervous and mm. you know that's a thing I think where when you start out everyone it's it's kind of terrifying to have to sit somewhere on, on live TV indefinitely mm. and, and talk about something I used to get so I, I don't I don't now my pulse rate doesn't really get above 50 <laughs> well that's a lie <laughs> uh, but I remember when I was like yeah you know 19 20 21 and mm. in the early 20s going to read news in Brisbane on channel 9 and it was like the big thing to read oh. news and, and I was I would be sweating <laughs> like I was in a sauna yeah. oh. and it's and it's just I think that's in life in general and people get nervous when they when they present but mm. to a camera it's a oh or well, the other thing that I remember from when I was a young reporter was the constant fear that you're going to miss something or yeah. get yeah. in trouble especially when we were overseas yeah. Carl and I were based in the US at yeah. the same time as foreign correspondents and so you'd get sent to these places like I remember going to do Hurricane Katrina this huge disaster in New Orleans and you're thinking well what if what if I can't get a signal out of here like mm. I have to be able to file yeah. and so you just have this constant fear or even to this day um, I'll think what if I what if I can't find a story what if I get some sent somewhere and can't and find a story yeah. and then I like kind of slap myself and go you've been doing it for 30 years you, you know how find to find something. a story what are you yeah. gonna do now so I'm trying to just decouple myself from the news cycle yeah. after 30 years, which has been great, actually. Yeah. So I'm hosting Australian Story. I've got a podcast about to come out that I'm doing with my very good friend Lisa Miller um, about the ABC TV show The Newsreader. It's like a companion yeah. for that. Um, and then I just do bits and pieces of different things awesome. for ABC News. It's just been really nice. We I joke about it, um, says, but we went and covered Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, which was a very mm, big deal to cover. Um, and Lee... Lee won a Walkley and I organised the party. <laughs> and that's exactly Both of which were very difficult. what I would expect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You try organising a party in a remote exactly. terrorist island in Cuba. Where's the Walkley for that, Lee? I right. got no recognition. <laughs> but everyone enjoyed it. Right. Yeah, sure, did. You know what? I leveraged that, though, and kept all the contacts that you helpfully paid for with Kerry, Kerry Packer's credit yeah, card. Yeah, <laughs> Those hey, were the days. Those were the days. They're asking for that back now. Anyway, <laughs> hey, it's great on. to see you. This is a terrific book. Yeah. Um, Lee's always a compelling writer, storyteller, and a compiler of great information. Available at all good bookstores. Get out there and read it. It's just lovely to see you. Thank good you. To see you Thank Thanks you for coming. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. that never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about? <laughs>